Hmm. So yesterday we saw till alias. Okay. Now we have to see joins. But to see joins before this, we have to understand what is like on the basis of which criteria things gets joined. Okay. So those are nothing but your table, your any table which you create. It should have some specific keys. Okay. Or um, okay, let's take an example of primary key. Suppose. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take an example of this table. Okay. Now, data related to person and his order, we were like, it was so much that we decided to keep some data in this person's table and some data in orders table. We could have connected these two table and only in single table, we could have um, um, kept all the details, but then we chose not to do so. We, we, we have a separate table for orders. We have a separate table for person. Okay. Now imagine if someone asked that um, I need all the persons and their order number where order ID is one, two, three, four, five, suppose. Or if I need all the persons age, their order number where person ID is three. So you cannot take this order number from this table, right? There is another table for it. But then we have to connect these two tables, then only we can create an imaginary third table and from the third table, we can fetch the data. Correct? Make sense to you guys? Hello? Yes, Arte. Yeah. So, yes. so to connect these two tables, there should be something common. Okay. So the common thing here is if you see person ID, here the person ID was in person's table, one, two, three, like unique person, their unique details correct on amazon there will be no sandhya who will be having same email address or same phone number correct so, so sandhya's phone number is a unique data about sandhya that makes this record or this detail about sandhya unique correct so that unique key which cannot be null your phone number cannot be null otherwise amazon will not allow you to sign up your um Phone number should not be duplicate also. If already your account is present, Amazon will tell you that account is already present with this phone number. So this is called as primary key, which is unique, which is compulsory, and which should not be duplicate. So this is primary key. This key belongs to this first table. But just because you wanted to connect this table with this table, you wanted this key somewhere in this table. And that's why this key in this table is a foreign key. But this person's ID key in the person's table was the primary key. You guys getting it? Because this is a tough concept. Yep. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Yep, yep, okay. Yep. So now uh, notice here, a person, re person's record on Amazon, not going to be duplicate. Okay. One person, one detail, but then that person can purchase multiple order. So that's why your foreign key here can be duplicated. Like this order and this order belongs to person number three. This order belongs to two, this order belongs to one. So in foreign key, you can have duplicates. That's fine. Okay. But in um, main table, like table one, if it is primary key, then you cannot have duplicates. You cannot even have null. You, this is, this is something you can imagine as if employee ID that is going to be unique to you. It cannot be null. It cannot be um, it, uh, like you cannot mark it as null. Okay. Null means no data. I hope now you guys understood what is primary key and what is um, foreign key. Okay. Yeah. Now, if I have to connect these two table, how I will connect? This is a syntax. Okay. You are saying, okay, before that, before connecting, how we create these kind of table when developer created this table, how he mentioned that, okay, the column, which you are creating person's ID column, it should be primary and um, the orders table, which you are creating table number two in that person ID column should be um, foreign key. Name can be different, okay? Name, if your person ID is written here, PID is written, that is fine. But if I'm intentionally making this a foreign key, then it will directly get connected to this one. Okay, I'll show you how. See this. While creating the table, normal columns we created, okay? Three columns we created normal. Ignore this, not null. Imagine I have written order ID int, order ID, order number int, person ID int. First, I created three normal columns. And over that column, now I'm providing some rules, some constraints. 
that okay this column is going to be a primary key this column is going to be a foreign key okay in which table in orders table so if you see this table is having this primary key but in this table this is a foreign key correct so see in this orders table this person id is a foreign key okay but then this foreign key actually references to person's person id which is nothing but a primary key so indirectly we are saying that this column is a foreign column like extra unnecessary column in this table but it is coming from this person's column and just to connect them together we we allowed this column to be in this table so it's a foreign body but then still we allowed it because we wanted to connect these two table so this is how you write it foreign key person id references person's person id so table name and column name table name sorry directly column name okay now why they are saying this primary key equals to order id because maybe the way in this table this was primary key in the same way in orders table this is primary key tomorrow they will create one more table there they want, don't want to connect this person's table there they want to connect this customer's table and orders table there again they need primary key correct so there is no compulsion that you should always have primary key but if you are making any secondary key or foreign key then there should be one primary key present in another table otherwise you cannot give the reference if you are giving reference then this this column should be present then only you can give the reference you guys getting it uh ati mm. so in the table creation there is a mm. person's id in the mm. right it's a in primary ha huh. this one correct it's a primary key but we didn't we don't need to mention it no when they created person's table right that time they mentioned yeah. it that time they mentioned it now they are creating orders table so here they are mentioning foreign key i'll show you um let's see let's create one table let's try it by ourselves So this is your database in which you have suppose uh, orders table and customer table, right? Let me create one more table. I'll be like, how we write create table? Create table. Yeah. Suppose TB we have right. So suppose B one is my table, and in that what I say, uh, all the two columns, right? So I'll be saying, okay, there is int age. Sorry, there is age which is of type int. There is a uh, name which is of type where. Care of two fifty five characters. Okay, two column I have created. Suppose let's see, roll number. Uh, again, int address where care two fifty five and this. Okay, suppose I am creating this table. Why it is so small? Hmm. Okay, let's execute it. Okay, this B one got created, but oh. My mistake. We were supposed to create a um, primary key and secondary key. Suppose V one. Ha. Huh. Let's create T one. So normally, first what we did, we added four columns. Now, out of these four columns, I'm making sure that one column should be primary or one column should be secondary. Correct. So first, I'll make suppose age as primary. Okay. So you will writing. Oh, in bracket we write it. One second, guys. Mm. Primary key in bracket ID, right? So why for me it is not turning pink? Because I'm making this age as primary key. So primary key. I don't know why it is not turning blue, but let's see. No, T one already exists. Okay, E thirty three. Okay, T one they created. Okay, with primary key, T one is present. Now in this T one we have age as primary key. Now I am creating T two. In this T two again I have same data. Suppose extra data is um, 
name of customers roll number int this and that and then i am saying here age of customer is a um, foreign key correct because this key is going to refer the primary key of t1 so i'll make this key as foreign key i'll be writing okay there is no primary key in this table but there will be one foreign key so f o r e i g n foreign key that foreign key is nothing but this key but it refers to whom it refers to primary key of table t1 sorry mm, primary key uh, t1 and then column was h got it guys getting it this is how you have to write it so the name mm -hmm. can be mm -hmm. go ahead no 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 so in t1 we have primary key uh, age yes. yes and now i'm creating t2 in which i'm not creating any primary key i don't need any primary key but i have one foreign key which is nothing but age of prime age of t1 but my key name is age of customer that's fine like name change is okay you can put age also again or you can change it that is also fine but indirectly you are saying that this this column belongs to or refers to age of t1 like over this column we are connecting two tables does that make sense Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, can you show me the T one table? What thing? Uh, here we have to insert the data. Then only we can see it. So one second. You and each. Sorry, could not prepare statement one near refer syntax error. Okay, very syntax error. Uh, rule number int foreign key age refers to. I think refers is a word. Give me a second. I forget the syntax again and again. Foreign key, person ID. So we have given T one. References, and, not. Uh, um, references. Sorry, references. Primary key. T one. Foreign key. Okay, let me copy it. That's fine. person's age no p1's age and this is age column so age int okay okay now you see t1 got created t2 got created but in t1 we had primary key and that details of primary key is here in t2 in one extra column which is again age and over that column we going to connect these two tables now are you understanding it Take this example. Suppose this is order ID. Okay. In order, every customer name. No, not actually. One second. Mm, let's see. I don't know which is primary key and foreign key in this. One second. While creating this, showed you right. Okay. In orders table, they made order ID as primary key and foreign key is person's ID. Okay. Uh, that means in person's ID there will be primary key as person ID. Okay, let's see. In orders table, they are saying person ID, right? But person ID is not present. So, okay, let's take another table. Shipper ID. Okay, see this. In shipper ID, there are these details. But every shipper ID is unique. That means this is a primary key. But these details are present in orders table, but here it can be duplicate. For one shipper, there can be multiple orders. This one person, one delivery agent can deliver multiple orders, right? So this is a foreign key in orders table. Clear now? Yeah, yeah, it's clear. So like, what's the main intention? Like, uh, intention prime... is to connect to table. So if I want to connect this order table with the shipper table, connect and then I'll be creating the third table. From the third table, if I want to fetch the data, I need something common. 
common in this table and that table and that common thing is this primary key and foreign key which, which can be connected over with each other getting it something should be common if i am not of the same field which you are of then maybe we'll not, never meet right so some connection should be there then only we can connect these two things together okay so suppose these two connected hmm. so one one query because we connected uh, hmm. what we get finally so we will get connect. third table i'll show you so if i say select shipper id okay shipper id from where shippers table okay shippers table shippers s h i p p e r s okay i am saying i need shipper id from shippers table i need suppose customer id comma um not like this it should be dot okay orders dot order customer id orders dot order id okay i am creating my third table just by putting these three columns in it i don't need all the columns from both the tables i need specific these three columns from both the tables from shipper table let's take one more column but let it be okay so i am looking for sh shipper id from shippers table so this is wrong it should be like this shippers dot column table name dot column okay so i am creating my third table by choosing these three columns from where from shipper table and which is joined inner join we say okay which is inner joined with orders table but over which data or over which column they are joined they are joined on um shipper id's shipper id column which is primary key in shippers and uh orders dot shipper id is shipper id right okay let me just execute it and explain you what is happening here hmm see can you guys see it yeah yeah so see the third column got created and the third column sorry third table got created in which we have only three columns the one which we chose okay shipper id customer id and order id but to connect these two tables together like shipper table and order table so that we can fetch the column we needed we needed some equality in them some similarity in them and that's because we want to connect but how we want to connect i am saying i want to connect connect only professionally with pravin i don't want to connect on a personal level okay so i need some common thing so that common thing here is shipper id see remaining things is not there just the uh, wherever the shipper id was matching only those things you can access okay and everywhere shipper id gonna match for sure because i told you they cannot be null but they can be duplicates right in orders table they can be duplicate shipper id because one shipper can be shipping the product for multiple orders right so there can be multiple duplicate in foreign key but very specifically in the primary table there will be very unique primary keys okay it? in in shippers table there is a primary key yes and that primary key is shipper id okay, okay. and then in and orders table you again have shipper id but then shipper id is um a foreign key actually shipper id does not belong to orders table but just because you wanted to connect shipper id shipper table and order table you needed some connectivity so you created one more column which is foreign key in orders table so you created order id or customer id no i chose these three columns actually if oh, let me copy it now look at this shipper table okay in shipper table you have shipper id shipper name and phone correct yeah. they made this primary now in orders table we have all the other details with shipper id that means the shipper id does not belong to orders table the shipper id belongs to shipper table but now just because we wanted to connect these table together we made this as foreign key yeah. okay and now i am saying okay 
wherever shipper id is present which was there in the uh, shipper table okay matching shipper id if you get in the order table fetch that record and create the third table so the command which i gave was this okay the command which i gave was this i'm saying okay don't give me all the columns employee id order id order date i don't need that i need some column from this table some column from those table so total three columns i need one from shipper two from orders table create a third column with with these details you connect these two tables using the inner join what is inner join i'll tell you but imagine as, as if it is joining these two table on this particular condition uh, you mentioned we you we created third column uh, there is no third, third column there is no, no, order third table third table not third column yeah we created third table by combining two tables t1 t2 yeah. okay yeah so if i execute this i created my third table so this is my table now if i write from this table i want only those detail where customer id is equals to 90 on this third table i am filing this query so customer id equals to this so if you see from the third column i am getting the results this result i am not getting from my customer table or from order table or whatever i am getting it from the third column which i created using these commands yeah yeah Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, if you understood foreign key and primary key, now let's see joins. Okay. The very first join is I'll show you joins. Okay. If you see this uh, diagram here, if you see inner join, only the matching record from both the tables will be displayed to you. Like if some details, like this shipper ID, if particular shipper ID is not present in the second table, it will not execute. i mean like that detail or that data will not be displayed to you getting my point in left yeah. join everything from this table will uh, uh, will be displayed only the matching data from this table will displayed remaining will get displayed but with null values okay i'll show you um how to execute it okay let me first explain this just remember this diagram okay if i am doing right join everything no matter what is the data in the table everything from the table which is written on the left side what i mean by left side this thing when i write this na shipper inner join order so this is my right side table this is my left side table so everything from shipper will come if i'll write it as left join okay so now see i think we use lhs rhs uh yeah you can say that but see if i if i execute shipper left join orders what happens left join orders this is right no this is left so 197 give me a minute hmm okay one second Hmm. They are given this example here. Yeah, let's take this one. This is easier to understand. If I do inner join, okay. If I make inner join here, that means I want to connect these two table only on the matching records. Suppose in primary table, okay, from this table, if shipper four is present, but that shipper four never had any order to ship in the orders table. Oh, where is those tables? You getting my point? Like. in order id order id we have shipper id okay which is um or let's take customer id okay customer id is a primary key correct in this table customer id is a primary key in customer table give me a second let me understand the table schema first this is customer table this is a order table and here they are inner joining it on customer id and customer id okay that means in orders table customer id in orders table customer id is a foreign key hmm okay let's see this we have one customer table we have one order table in order table this customer table 
customer id column does not belong and that's why it's a foreign key okay so this customer id is a foreign key and this customer id is a primary key now if they say i want to join these two table over this customer id okay and if you write from customer to sorry from customer inner join order that means everything from this table and this table but on the only the match records that means this 37 and this 77 will never get displayed because we have no records in this table for these data these customer id you guys understanding it yeah only the matching so only matching one is two so only this this data will be displayed to you in case of inner join now imagine left join okay in case of left join when you write a command like this right left join orders on see from customers inner join orders so this is your left table this is your right table okay yeah. this is your left this is your right so everything from customer but only the matching records from orders for example this is my customer table so everything 1 2 3 everything from customer only the matching from orders that means these two records will never get displayed but everything from this table will get displayed okay similarly reverse everything yeah. with this column will displayed only the matching from this column will do. yeah go ahead uh, no just i'm asking so whenever we write the, uh, the query hmm. so side one if it is uh, left join the left side when yeah. will get all data all data right of left yeah only hmm. only the matching ones for remaining it so will show can, null values mm -hmm. so we can just use left one right so we are writing the query so we can always write the, whatever data we want we can write left side right yeah indirectly you are doing the same either you go for uh, writing the table like query in that way for example if you write a query in this way from customer senior join orders every time you want to write it in this way then well and good you will get the same record otherwise change the sequence if your sequence is changed then make sure that it displays the correct data as well okay okay you have to put your mm, tables yeah. properly yeah like why we have left and right uh, that's okay question. the question here is why you need only the one side of a table right why because uh, suppose um, the question no. here is Mm -hmm. why we have left join and right join so we can just use left join right no right if suppose um if i if i change orders uh, from orders left mm -hmm. join customers understood so, yeah that also you can do but then um hmm that will also work but then and are they hmm Yes, Which sir. time I will use left join and what time we will use right join? Suppose there are two tables. Okay, you are saying um, I need all the customer details, but I am not much interested in their order details. But I am interested in their customer details. Okay, if order is not present, if order is present, show me. If not present, that is also okay. Show null there. I want to create that kind of data, that kind of report. Suppose. So how will I create? Like they are saying, okay, a, a student should know Java. that is my compulsion java and java experience there are two columns in my you know one table like java table and then extra extra tools table is there in that extra tools if you have any matching records then display even even if student does not know those extra tools that is fine java is important so the third table which they they will be creating for which you know the report they have to create for thousands of students in that they will be putting null in case of extra tools if not present but everything about that student from the first table they will display imagine it in this way that one table is very compulsory second table only the matching records are important even if matching records are not there null is also okay yeah null means not present this kind of thing so even if it is not present that is okay that is not a compulsory thing but yes main details of the students are very important so create a report which will contain both the data together from this okay. table also this table also getting it yeah okay um answer to your question um pravin 
actually the example which i gave you it answers your question that okay from one table you need all the data from another table you are not that much interested like only matching ones you will display the meanings you will not display but um yeah if you'll change the sequence that also would have worked so i don't know the real reason actually why they came up with two joins only one would have been enough right but i'll i'll check this and i'll let you know i'm not sure there should be some yeah. reason okay so um, so left join inner join right join these three things you understood full join means from both the table like if someone does not know java then show their tools in case of uh, java column put null and uh, if they don't know any uh, extra tools just put the java details and then in case of extra tools put null so someone is asking for suppose stackery is asking for all the details okay all the details what all covered from both the tables so i'll create a report like this cool yep now uh, sorry uh, how to create the full join same thing just put here full join but what kind of data uh, it will display uh like this like everything from all the table even if some matching record is not present in this table that also so here the foreign can work or? yeah foreign key and primary key is compulsory okay but foreign key and primary key is a connector like without them you cannot connect two tables together you getting my point uh yeah 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 okay. so i am saying okay connect over primary key and foreign key but even if some foreign key details are not matching with primary key it's okay take it and we'll put null in front of it oh okay okay so in this way you connected it so let's try that if we have that ready otherwise yeah i think we sh we will be able to try it no okay full auto join they don't allow but look at this your table will be created like this i created a table only with two columns from both the tables some data was not present in the customer table some data was not present in the order table that's fine put null there but connect these two things okay okay like this now uh, self mm -hmm. like suppose customer name is uh, so there is no primary key here customer name and order id there is but they selected to display only two columns they chose to display only two columns from both the tables from first table customer name from second table order id yeah yeah, yeah. you can connect id you can choose id also then id will also display yeah okay now what is self join i also don't know actually what is self join a self join is a regular join but the table is joined with itself but why would you do that so this thing actually i um, have to check mm, self join okay just give me a minute if i'll understand i'll teach you otherwise i'll teach you this tomorrow the following sql statement matches customers that are from the same city customer 1 customer 2 city where city equals to this Mm, no guys i have to check this okay self join i'll teach you tomorrow but other than this if you understood the basic join and if you understood these primary key foreign key then we have um hmm, unique okay one more constraint which is important remaining i told you yesterday alter is remaining okay and not null and unique these are the two extra constraint the one which we understood till now is primary key and foreign key correct now we are understanding not null and unique these are the two extra constraint okay so what is unique unique says i don't want duplicate suppose i am creating a table i am saying okay in table id should be there last name should be there phone number should be there first name should be there age should be there but every time phone number should be unique the moment person will log in or sign up with the new phone number or duplicate phone number he should get the issue he should get the error correct So if I copy it, and if I try it, one second. Suppose I am creating one table, new table one. In this, these columns are there. Okay, I am saying ID should always be unique. It is not primary; it is unique. I am saying. Okay, in this table, I don't have any uh, primary key. So new table got created. Now in this new table, let me enter the data. Uh, Create table, right? 
let's keep it like this and let's insert some data so insert into new table one new table one values how you insert the values directly in the sequence so suppose id is one comma last name is l1 comma first name is f1 age is suppose 20 and okay that's all okay only four columns are there so let me execute it okay i have to remove this i created one table now i'm inserting values in it so see one data got inserted but second time i'll insert it with 20 f1 f2 l2 okay now just because this was id and this is duplicate again already person with id one is already present the details are seen still there is a constraint and that's why because of this unique constraint you cannot enter duplicate values it will not allow you to enter in duplicate values it is saying only unique value can be there for id you getting my point hello you guys getting it this is a rule we have set on that column that nobody can enter duplicate phone number in our database okay. got it yeah at the same time yeah. they are yeah. putting this constraint which is not null that means you cannot put empty data if it is a mandatory thing so if you want your last name and first name to be entered or id should be entered you can put your age empty that's okay but these three things are mandatory so if i say not null it will not allow any null values in it Clear? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, not only unique primary key, foreign key. These four things are done. Remaining are not important. This create table, create drop, and drop. Huh? These things are done. Let me just show you alter table from this section. Nothing else is important from this section. Okay. Now, what is In alter? Mm -hmm. Primary key also uh, unique, right? Not yeah, unique. that is mandatory unique, no duplicate, no null. And unique also, not, not null. And no, not in unique, no, in unique, you can have null, but you cannot have uh, duplicates. Unique but means no duplicates. In the table before, uh, ID, they mentioned not null. Why they mentioned not null? No, in here they mentioned not null. Created one. Yeah, yeah. ID int not null. This is an another constraint. Not null is another constraint. Unique is another yeah. constraint. I'm asking in the unique hmm. SQL constraint. If you go down, there is one table, right? So they mentioned not null unique. Where they mentioned it, I missed it. Yeah. I'll go up. up a bit. Yeah. Here. Yeah. ID in not null unique. No, they created another person. They created this person's table and they are saying in that the ID will be unique at the same time it will be not null also. This specifically applied to condition. Even if I will not apply this and if I only make it unique, that means duplicate will not be allowed, but null will be allowed. Oh, okay. Getting it. So they applied two conditions together, two constraints together. But I, I chose to apply only one constraint which is unique here. And that's why when I will enter duplicate, it will not allow. But at the same time, if I put null, okay, I'm not giving the value of uh, age. So in that case, okay, one second. Uh, for that, I have to write that extra, uh, uh, I mean, column names also, right? So in this case, if I'll apply this like this, right, without giving the data, that is fine with unique. But that is not fine with um, the not null. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Praveen, your voice is breaking. Come again. Yeah. Come again. Can you run the uh, query? This query, I can, but I don't remember the column names which were there. Do you guys remember the? Uh, we have it now. So see. Um, insert into what is my table name? New table. Table, new table one. one. Yeah, new table one. Um. Then I'll be like. ID. Last name. First name, comma, age, 
है वैल्यूज आई एल नॉट बी गिविंग आई डी ओके आई एल बी डायरेक्टली गिविंग लास्ट नेम सो आई कैन गिव नल आई कैन गिव एल वन सॉरी एल टू आई कैन गिव एफ एल टू आई कैन गिव एफ टू एंड एट इज सपोज ट्वेंटी सो आई एम गिविंग नल ओके बट आई एम नॉट कीपिंग इट वेक इंड सो सी not null constant they have applied on id oh ho while creating the table they applied not null also okay mm. we have to create new table then that time i think while copy pasting it i copied this constant also not null and unique together let me create okay. another table let me create another table suppose new two in this i am saying i have normal id okay in last name i cannot have null and my unique key okay suppose now i haven't applied not null to any of my column and let's see um, i have only one column here id okay and this is also unique so let's execute it new to got created now insert into insert into new to okay what i'm inserting values Value is just because it's a unique value. First time when I'll insert one, it will execute. Okay, one data got created. Now insert into uh, new one. Sorry, new two values. This time if I insert again one, I'll get error. Yeah. Yeah. Constraint, right? But if I enter null, see null value got added. No error. I'll show you. See, null value got added. That is fine because null is another constraint. If I would have created a table with not null constraint, then it was it would have been giving me error. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Four constraints done now. So in primary we cannot have uh, mm. duplicate null and blank. Okay. In unique we cannot have duplicates, but we cannot we can have null. In not null we cannot have A null value, but we can have duplicates. In foreign key, we can have duplicates, uh, but we cannot have null. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So four constants are clear to you. Now I was teaching you alter table. Okay. Give me a second. Hmm. Now, what we why we are do uh, learning alter table because sometimes we forget to add some column, right? Earlier we created the table. Now table creation is done, and all of a sudden we realized we need extra column in that table. So for that, you can alter your table. How to alter? See, you can say okay, alter table table name. In that, I can add one extra column. Suppose here. in this new to i added only one column id right now i'll make uh, alter i think alter does not work on this database but let's see alter new to alter table table name alter table new to and in this i am adding new column which is suppose a roll number which is of type int yeah okay so see now we will be having id also and roll number also getting it So I added one extra column which I forgot to add earlier. So we can just add after the all columns last. Yeah, at the end only. Okay, so I can add any kind of columns. Oh, uh, may it be a var key or may it be integer. At the same time, I can delete also if I want. Um, see, there are different type of databases for them. Different commands are there. The one which we are learning is SQL Server. On that we have Alter, but on uh, Microsoft Oracle. Sorry, on Oracle we have this modify. So depends upon um, which database you are using, these these queries will work for you. Mainly alter and modify only. Now, um, drop column. If I want to delete any column, already I created extra columns. If I want to drop that column, then I'll use drop. Got it? Suppose this roll number is extra, I don't need it, so drop it. Alter table new one. 
drop the column i think drop column c o l o u m n column role i think column spelling is wrong c o l u m n so l at column drop and then column name oh is it i think drop column no see all the table persons drop column let me copy it alter table new to drop column oh, okay. yeah yeah uh, could not prepare statement okay logic error why new to i think drop is also not allowed that's why they haven't given this tried by yourself you know whatever you can try they give this button tried by yourself on this database it is not allowing you but then you can try it on your sql server when which you will yeah. download on your machine right there you can try it simple yeah. add work then drop should also work but here it is not working okay cool um so this section done basic section done now let's see um till self join we have seen right now let's see from bottom here operators basic plus minus subtraction and all so i am saying suppose let's try it okay i am saying i need all the products where price is equals to 18 from which column from um, persons column sorry products column from products column i am putting this condition that i need all the products which is having price equals to 18 so see these are the products which is having price equals to 18 in this way we have multiple operators greater than less than if i say i need all the products where price is greater than 18 or less than 18 see so in this way you can use basic operators okay basic operators now not equal to 18 just put this i need all the products which is not equals to 18 so all other than 18 you are getting all the products now these are called as arithmetic operators okay comparison operators now there are some um ignore this one there are some logical operators also i am saying okay select all the products where either product price is equals to 18 or price is equals to 22 so it will choose both so this is called as logical operator you see 18 and 22 or if i am saying and there there will not be any product where price is going to be 18 as well as 22 therefore no records got it guys getting it the uh, condition is little bit different arti because when we are using or and and hmm in or uh, any condition is true then it's true for example if i put here or it will be like okay if any product is having price equals to 18 or price equals to 22 that means any of these price are present we are okay these two conditions both the conditions should not be true that i mean that's not a compulsion even if both the conditions are true return the data even if any condition is true return the data in case of or okay but when yeah. i say yeah. and, and java it is opposite yes no, or, no, no. exactly and the and same you... and and or is exactly same everywhere it's a logical operator if you remember multiple attributes we learned in xpath we were giving this attribute if, and this attribute we are using in java not two conditions satisfied if we are using or operator hmm. only one condition will be satisfied that will come yes yeah even if both the conditions are satisfied it will come even if any one okay. condition is satisfied it will come but if if any of these conditions are not satisfied it will not come okay, okay? but in case of or compulsory both the conditions should be satisfied then only data will be displayed if any one of them are satisfied still the data will not be displayed to you in or here no in and mm -hmm. okay. everywhere in or mm -hmm. any one condition satisfied satisfied data okay. will be displayed yeah okay you guys getting it pravin and sandhya uh, ah yeah. yes yeah so similarly we have extra logical operators like this um between if i want the price to be between something so we don't use these many but if you'll read the uh, description of it you will understand so between means kind of range i showed you yesterday between price range 10 to 20 remember so the same thing they are applying here see price between 50 and 60 so simple 
so when you get some time try these normally we don't use this that much but still okay try these you will get it now basic operators you understood command operators also you know in for loop we used it like less than and greater than that that means it will include if price is equals to 20 that also get included and price greater than 20 will also get included make sense so these operators also you guys know just give it a try you will understand it now how we write comments in sql in java we write it with double slash right in sql we write it with double dash okay, okay. now yeah. stored processor is not for us these are for developers uh, null function is also okay no need ha huh. these two are very important having an order by and group by order by is for sorting order by ascending or descending you guys remember yesterday i showed you that show me all the price where price is order by let's see yeah. here select star from product order by price suppose okay and in the which order suppose descending order so see 263 123 and then descending order okay so order by is for sorting now let's say group by what do you mean by group you are creating similar kind of data in a one group right so what i am saying here is i want okay i'll show you suppose this is customers table every customer belongs to one certain country i want to create a group of same type of country i want to create a group of same type of country so what i'm saying so you start from customers group them by their country c o u n t r y and then from that group give me the max of um, max of suppose customer id that means i created group of same type of customer okay see how many group got created 22 because 22 countries were there in the 22 countries also we are asking for uh, sorry on the in the 22 groups also i am asking for the customer which is having the maximum customer id you getting my point yeah yeah so in a classroom we created five groups one group of art student one group of science student one group of math student from that group also i am asking i am looking for the person who is or student who is having maximum marks so this is how you can do it you can first group them by some column and then from that one group you can fetch the data min max whatever clear Yeah. Now the second command is having. Okay. Now having can be used with wherever you have group. So for example, I'm saying select customer ID from customers, group them by country, and I say customer having um, customer ID, or I'll say max of customer id greater than so there are so many customer id right but in that also i want someone who is having more than 37 okay more than 37 so this condition normally we apply condition with where clause but on groups if you want to apply some condition you can apply it in this way so if you see only 20 records are displayed because remaining two were less than 37 let's make it even more so only 90 records one group which was 50 something it got it is not getting displayed that means first group then choose some data from it either you choose it from here by writing min and max or you can put condition like this also using having clause clear guys understanding it yep okay so with this we are done with sql basic things important things i just showed you all the basic queries joins and after you created join and groups then these three uh, clauses and then your arithmetic operations operations sql select uh, insert these things we learned it very first uh, on the very first day then these are the basic things like what is primary key unique key four constraint what is database how to create database how to create table in it done and 
Mm, where is that joins wala section? Okay, yeah. So yeah, everything is done. Don't go for this data, okay? This is not required. These things, these things, this view, injection, hosting, these things are also not required. Not, don't spend extra time on it. Like if you get some time, do spend on it. But these are the important things which I taught you. Other, other than these queries, you're not going to use any other query. Okay. Clear, everyone. Ah, uh, yep. So with uh, this, the, hmm. so we have done with SQL. And... Only manual part, not automation part. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just give me a minute. Let me stop the recording. <laughs>